You're here with Terrence Mahan. He coached three of the six women on the team. Two Emily's and one Katie. You must be thrilled about that. Yeah, it was exciting. We, we, we saw the field was, you know, a decent field. But uh, for all these ladies, it's, they've never made a U.S. team, you know, on a world level. And that was always a big, big, you know, thing on their bucket list. So we said, hey, let's go and see if we can put three on the team. Carrie Tolleson on the broadcast knew that they all were coached by you, but do they all train together? What's the setup like? Uh, it, it's kind of a mixed bag. So Emily Durgan lives in Flagstaff, which we go to Flagstaff a lot for training. Katie Izzo lives in San Diego, and Emily Lapari just this year, just this fall, moved to Hawaii because her husband's in the Navy. So uh, they all get together for training camps a good amount of the year. Uh, uh, but otherwise, kind of do their stuff on their own. So a little, little mixed bag of both. But they're, they're good teammates. And where are you these days? San Diego. Okay. So that's our main group's in San Diego, and we kind of bounce between there and Flagstaff. So. Yeah. so what do you think? Uh, I mean, making the team was goal number one. What will be the goal when you get to Worlds? Uh, for them, you know, World Cross Country, it's like you've experienced it. It's crazy. It's like the hardest race in the world, you know? And so for them, just getting that sort of experience, go out when you think you're all out at 1K and you got nine more to go, like, I think it just mentally toughens you up and it kind of wakes you up a little bit of like, this is, if, if what you want to do is be one of the best in the world, I think you have to experience World Cross Country. I mean, we did that with Dina and Jen back in the day, and I think it helped shape their track careers. Yeah. I mean, it seems like back in the day, more people, top Americans, were running World Cross. Do you think it's died off a little bit? Uh, yeah, you know, Mark Coogan and I were talking about this, and we're like, everyone is, plays it safe. Uh, we had Dina run World Cross, you know, before she set the American record in Marathon, you know, a couple weeks later in London. So it's like if you're doing the right training and you're taking care of the therapy and whatnot, uh, we think, you know, being competitive on a low level is important. And so I'm not one for skipping races. All right. Well, congratulations. Thanks.